in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed more love, more power, more of you in my life. There was a young ruler. Let me wrap up now. There was a young ruler that the Bible simply calls a rich young ruler. This one was not a Pharisee. But he was a successful gentleman i've done a teaching on it do you know what it means to be rich then to be young then to be a ruler you have conquered life significantly because it takes time to be rich if you are rich and young that is dominion over time rich young ruler that was not the name that was the credential of a young man he was rich he was young and he had dominion he came to Jesus watch this and he says good master what must I do to inherit eternal life since it is true I am rich I am young I am a ruler but I know there is something missing my wealth my physical influence and the advantage of my age has not been able to do anything supernatural it cannot heal the sick it cannot mentor me with all my money i cannot command loyalty to go to a desert and have a crowd come there is something more and i have studied you and studied your teachings and you have attributed these possibilities to eternal life so in addition to my being rich in addition to my being young in addition to my being a ruler there is something more i want good master what must i do to inherit eternal life we'll wrap up tonight's teaching by answering that question Jesus looked at him and said why do you call me good no man calls me good except God there is no man who is good except God so you understand that this result is beyond the realm of men every time people acknowledge the origin of supernatural results Jesus accorded them he gave them an applause he said you are a wise boy truly nobody is good except God since you know you call me good master that immediately tells you where i come from and it tells you the origin of this invincible life that i possess good master then he now gave him something a very serious test go and do this gift to the poor he said this i have done right from my youth yet he was still young meaning that gentleman started making progress really early and jesus said one last thing Go and sell all that you have. Listen, no. Jalingo. Taraba. Listen. We are discussing eternal life now. We are discussing being born again. Do you know what that means? To be born again does not add to what already is in you. You will have to be willing to relinquish everything there. He says, no, you do not add the life of God to all of this that you have gathered. It does not work like that. Go and sell all that you have. Give it to the poor. Then come empty. When there is nothing again in yourself, come and follow me. I will show you how to receive eternal life. The Bible said the man left sad because he had many things. <laughs> ah, eternal life demands that anything that is not the life of God is dethroned until Jesus and his purposes is enthroned. Above fame, above pedigree, that when you stand, the singular credential will not be my knowledge, will not even be my fasting and my prayer 
the singular credential that you stand with as the basis of everything is Jesus the moment you are adding any other thing doesn't mean you don't practice them but priding in the fact that I am what I am because I went to school I am what I am because I speak well you are still in the realm of the rich young ruler you are not ready to follow when you empty yourself of everything and you come say listen I I am a good preacher I speak well I fast well I give well Jesus commended him and said but you are still full eternal life does not come to men like that business with God demands total emptiness where you are void of yourself did John not get it right that I may decrease decrease in my perception that when you look at me what you do not what you see is not a celebrity with a plethora of achievements uh -uh. those who are born again are people who died before Because you see, the way to the throne is the cross. If you tell me you're on the throne, I will say, show me the cross you pass through. Uh -uh. You cannot be seated on the throne without showing the cross that killed you. Is it not in the Bible, I have been crucified with Christ? The one who says we are seated with Christ also said, I have been crucified with Christ. Galatians chapter 3. He says, nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And this life that I live in the flesh, that is the body, I live by the faith of the Son of God. There are many people who recite salvation prayers, but there are few people who are willing to give up everything and to be crucified with Christ indeed. This is the reason why the potential of this life you have received does not manifest. Like the rich young ruler, we come before God and men with all our achievements i am intelligent that's why i am a fasting giant that's why it is because of the abundance of my bible study that's why and jesus says you have done well but not enough to carry my life you want to carry my power and host my grace you must be so empty you become like a mirror that when men look at you they don't see me and you they see me when men look at joshua selman you are a true carrier of eternal life to the degree to which the more they look at you the more you do not become the center of attraction you become a mirror reflecting his power his grace his glory with all humility careers of the divine life where then is our boasting where then is our bragging no we stand as soldiers of the cross possessors of his life with one singular assignment revealing jesus to the nations not our titles not our credentials are we together he honors us because he's given us a greater platform to reveal him please men of god co-laborers in the gospel let me say this already we must learn to crucify this flesh and hide it behind the cross this desire to want fame and to be a celebrity as wonderful as that is it will shortchange you from walking in the authenticity of the life of jesus when jesus walked upon the earth even though he was god in every way and considered it not robbery but for the purpose of his assignment he humbled himself is it not in your bible and the bible says let this mind be in you which was in christ jesus so thank you for all the accolades the honor that you gave me as i walked in but you see behind at the back of my mind i have no singular assignment except to see him glorified except to see him revealed it will be a total waste of your time if i am here tonight to only show you an anointed man so that you will see a man that god is doing mighty things with if for any reason there is something to see in my life that my life will perhaps be an inspiration to you of what god can do with men who really die the way we live is to die so don't tell me you are alive show me the grave show me the grave where the former you died mm -mm. there is no man who died without a location even Jesus his grave was there where is your own grave as a testament that you have died mm. died to your flesh died to pride died to self aggrandizement died to lust die to everything the things that that so distract us 
I'm showing you the implication of eternal life is beyond just reciting a chant Lord Jesus Lord Jesus and you go back smiling is beyond carrying a title respectfully speaking pastor apostle those things are physical credentials the realm of the spirit respects the grave because that is where resurrection happens if you are to be born again you must be able to show me the grave this is where the former me died this is where the lost driven me died this is where the sensual me died this is where the me full of pride and full of myself died this is the me carrying ministry on my head died but this is now the me who stands to represent Jesus the me who has gotten to that realm there were two thieves on the cross they were all thieves one was at Jesus's left one was at Jesus's right one took responsibility he said shame on you we are thieves you claim to be a righteous man and there's no proof and the other one rebuked him and said we're being judged justly this man is innocent the moment Jesus listened to that he said you today you will be with me in paradise preachers listen I want to make one more statement and then we'll pray and I want you to be very sensitive what I'm about to say may disturb you but I want you to listen the one question people ask me everywhere I go is what is the secret of the grace of God upon your life I have thought about it sincerely so that I will give an honest answer I used to think it was my fasting now I know it is not make no mistakes about it this is a man who fasts I used to think it was my prayer now I know it's not about it <laughs> nobody prayed more than the scribes and the Pharisees I used to think it was the dexterity of my word study do you have the pentatouch of heart this was a man who had all he fasted he prayed as much as the law gave and he was a man who was intellectually sound yet he came to Jesus and said I'm not seeing this work and Jesus said there is something we need to go beyond the gates of your fasting beyond the gates of praying as important as that is and get to your heart the greatest secret of doing business with God is a heart that is broken a heart that is surrendered a life that is completely dead write it down I give you a guarantee show me a man and you will find who has fasted without power show me a man and you will find who has prayed without results show me a man and you will find who has studied without results but show me a man who is broken and dead I will show you a man who has found the fountain of power who has relevance with God please listen to a key that I give you tonight I am not in any way downplaying these spiritual exercises but we live in a world where we have built monuments around these things and we have confused the generation because many of them have done these things well-meaning like the rich young ruler yet they have found out that that power did not come and they are asking questions that's why they may seem to suspect anybody carrying it because they are saying I've obeyed everything you said you can fast from a standpoint of lust and pride you can fast from a standpoint of self aggrandizement you can pray go and read about the prayer life of two people in the Bible one who was a prayer warrior but in pride full of himself the content of his prayer was the glorification of self even though he was not the issue of prayerlessness it was that his your heart condition vetoes any and every spiritual activity your fasting only gains potency when it's connected to a heart that is truly dead dead to self only to live to reveal christ your prayer only becomes potent when it is coming from a heart that is truly surrendered i submit to you the greatest secret behind the hand of god upon my life i have seen people who have fasted more than me who have prayed more than me the highest i've seen in my life i've shared it here i think was a gentleman who fasted for 400 days six to six i wrapped up the last day with him and after those days he was still looking for power And I tell you, I'm giving you a shortcut by this message tonight. Not a shortcut to distract you. 
but showing you the authentic pathway to carrying this invincible life and manifesting it in experience i agree that you have made an altar call i agree that spiritually is a fact that god has given you that life but the reality of it is at the mercy of your death in experience you must pass through that water you must pass through the ministry of the spirit and the first assignment of the holy spirit is not to teach you the first assignment of the holy spirit is not to empower you the first assignment of the holy spirit is to reduce you until self dies when the holy ghost came upon jesus he began a journey with jesus that finally culminated in the cross your own holy spirit that came upon you seems to be leading you away from the cross we need to verify what you received because when the holy ghost comes he does not tolerate self being alive man of god please listen to me woman of god please listen to me jalingo taraba in addition to all the graces that will be speaking to you all through this conference i bring you a word the secret to an excelling life an indomitable life is to transcend beyond your physical birth the one that you have in your birth certificate it only qualified you to have the second one because the protocol is you must have the first birth to have the second anybody who is not born of a woman cannot be born of the spirit that is the reason why angels do not experience this salvation the condition salvation is for men and the condition to be a man is that you must pass through the womb of a woman the only exception was Adam not even Jesus escaped it Jesus is with his body today in heaven the body that came through the womb of Mary and that is the reason why we are sure he will come back because he's not looking for another body to come back he doesn't need a virgin to give him another body we are sure of his imminent return because he left with his body if he left his body behind we'll be in trouble because where will he get another body this same jesus the bible says he will return the same way we saw him go he went with his body if he returns on earth it's not illegal he still has a material body the man jesus not the spirit jesus is the one seated at the throne today why do we go around evangelizing and preaching it is not just to satisfy the guilt or to to, to bring ourselves into some spiritual consolation that we are ministers we do this number one because we love jesus number two because we have found out that the escape from sin death defeat failure is not found in an advice is not found in counseling beyond counseling and therapy the secret to the problem of men on earth today is not just a therapeutic management system as important as that is men must translate to a point where they accept the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus by the way can i recite for you what the bible calls the gospel of salvation the gospel of salvation is the revelation of the father's love revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus man and creation being the object of that love are we together to the intent that whosoever the bible says believes on him he should not perish that blessing is for whosoever whether you are from adamawa black white i forgot to tell you that physically um you are only born a baby but spiritually any age once you are alive is still valid to be born again you can be born again at 12 you can be born again at 90 provided you are alive it is never too late to be born again and in this second kind of birth there are no miscarriages it is accurate and precise tonight i have come to call someone your destiny has been beckoning on you you know within your spirit that you are born to live a victorious life that the prophetic destiny of taraba karasu kadia i just said that and i just saw a wind just blowing 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 a wind blowing i'll make the altar call we'll, we'll subsequently have the time just to pray and minister to people but let me just respond to two things I'm seeing in the spirit now and I want you to help me I'm seeing a wind 
and I'm hearing the number 17, 17. There are 17 people right now as I'm speaking. The Lord is saying, I am calling you into a deeper spiritual experience. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit is resting on those 17, male and female, 17 people. Um, I don't know how, many, how much time we have, just a few minutes. When that happens, may I please request that you bring, I'm about to pray and release that grace. I want to have the people here, 17 of them. The Lord is ministering to me. Enough is enough. Your destiny beckons on you now. I stretch my hands. I don't know where you are. Inside, outside, right now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just bring them. Papara sopashet kelabareketos kafraketepalas keparikatos Bring them out. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Ali Bashaleka Koska de Balakosia. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh. Yahweh, there is a separation that is happening to you. Ah, he said, whilst you were in your mother's womb, from before thou camest, I called you and ordained you to be a prophet. I stir up that wind. I stir up that well. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. Hallelujah. Please listen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, for as long as you are willing to be born again, born of water, born of the spirit, behind the exploits of ordinary men is the spirit of the living God, the mysterious power of the Most High. He told Mary, said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And he said, the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you and he says that power shall come upon you that you are endowed with power it's time to get out of a realm of an ordinary life an ordinary christian life a resultless christian life the bible says i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us for the earnest expectation of creation 
awaited the manifestation of the sons of God not the explanation of the sons of God not the excuses of the sons of God Jalingo hear me Taraba hear me the north hear me it is time for a kind of people to arise pastors respectfully speaking in addition to that which we know it is time to contend for something that will bring glory to the name of the lord before he gives us power against he gives us power to become power to become power to become i just saw like fire resting on the heads of 10 people and the lord is saying that fire it will ignite your spirit man i don't know where you are but let that fire rest upon you this is that that fire that was on the day of pentecost let it come upon your head come upon your destiny come upon your head come upon your destiny coming on a man of God I don't know who that person is but I saw that is a man of God and I saw like a measuring tape it was just elongated I don't know who that man of God is but that light the Bible says that was the true light oh may that grace that illumination let it rest upon you right now let it rest upon you right now let it rest upon you right now help him please let it rest upon you right now let it rest upon you right now. Let it rest upon you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please listen. Please listen to me. With the permission of His Lordship, the Bishop, let me give us three assignments within the course of my session. Please. I came to walk us through a spiritual journey and I plead that we cooperate. Everyone, please hear me. Between 12 midnight today and 6 midnight and 6 in the morning, find any one hour at least and pray in the spirit non-stop. Just do what I'm asking you to do. I came to stare something. You can have it as a prayer chain if you want to. Some can take 12 to 1 one to two let me tell you the prayer content the prayer content is not power the prayer content is let everything that has been exalted above christ die within my heart are we in agreement please discipline yourself this is a week of spiritual emphasis and retreat at the permission of his lordship i want to plead and make that request hallelujah so you can select any one hour between 12 and 6 you are traveling in the spirit and your cry is lord everything that has exalted itself above you the flesh the lusts and everything let it be crucified so that the reality of this life can find expression within me that is assignment number one assignment number two that i want to give you is don't you think there is enough crowd of people inside here and outside there is still one more person in taraba that prophecy needs to beckon upon to be in this meeting 
the second assignment is you are going to do the work of an evangelist both online and offline tell someone god is moving mightily in taraba some of you may need to call your colleagues in ministry the whole chapter it's not much study john chapter 3 the discourse of nicodemus as far as birth is concerned and let god grant you illumination by the spirit hallelujah for sake of time we may not have the time to prophesy and pray for the sick now we're just starting i understand there is a session tomorrow let me please plead you need to write exams there are institutes that are age dependent if it's the internet you need money for data but the church gives you the permission to come as you are and sit down only to be opened to be transformed hallelujah praise the name of the lord come with your heart open tomorrow morning if you must come here by six in the morning to reserve a space don't worry it is better to stand for three days or one week and have your destiny transformed forever hallelujah and then again at the permission of the bishop tomorrow night as god grants grace it will be a miracle and impartation service where you will be receiving an unction from heaven that something will come upon your life your destiny your ministry it will be a redefinition of your spiritual reality hallelujah for those who are here in front i stretch my hands the graces that you have received in the name of jesus may they usher you into deep realms of spiritual activities and any spirits that may be interrupting your progress i command liberty now 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 in the name of jesus liberty now now for the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty here at peniel 2023 i declare liberty every chain that has bound your life your destiny be free now free to serve the living god free to live a victorious christian life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now hear me except for those who are still manifesting under the anointing for those who are strong that can return to their seats they can gloriously return to their seats rejoicing because i want to make the altar call right now listen please no movement stand i want to say something very important before i make the altar call with all due respect and with honor to priesthood and all the men and the women of god here please allow me just share one burden in my heart if they are still under the anointing just leave them so they don't fall on one another watch this can i tell you no matter what you put as your credential to measure success if souls are not the top of the list you are not doing much in the kingdom in order of priority soul winners are before revelation giants soul winners are before fasting giants before intercessors the greatest and the highest index for measuring success for the believer is the abundance of many who have been turned to righteousness on account of your life your fasting your prayer your bible study your diligence in the things of the spirit must translate into abundance of souls john chapter 15 and verse 8 he said herein is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples john 15 16 you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain in order of priority a man of god's greatest assignment regardless the nature of the office and the call is to see that many are turned to righteousness you may have listened to my message redefining the great commission the first cater of the great commission is soul winning world evangelization the second cater of the great commission is discipleship the methodical mentorship of believers to attain stature and growth in the spirit the third and final cadre of the great commission 
is societal or territorial transformation hallelujah you are not fulfilling the great commission if these three aspects are not captured in your life but my burden for tonight is that we genuinely become soul winners no matter the kind of anointing i have if it does not translate to abundance of souls coming to the kingdom it has nothing to do with what office you are calling every opportunity to draw many to jesus is a welcome development when it has to do with souls so let me challenge respectfully speaking and beckon on the body of christ we must be intentional about drawing many to righteousness you only disciple people who are saved you do not disciple unbelievers hallelujah tonight the bible says the lord added daily to the church as many who should be saved every addition in the church is for salvation and then transformation by the word and then empowerment to be witnesses every addition i repeat is for salvation and then transformation through discipleship and then empowerment to represent the purposes of the kingdom and tonight there are many of you here you were invited graciously by the media by men and women and by the angels inviting you here noising it abroad Peniel 2023 perhaps you are in the overflow or somewhere scattered around or following online by way of television or the internet and Jesus is telling you that it is time for the second birth you have done gone through the natural biological birth thanks to your parents but he calls you to a more superior birth is called a spiritual birth is called a rebirth and I'm going to call, I will count one to five for someone who is saying, Apostle, I cannot lie. I'm standing before Jesus, naked and unashamed. I need to make it right with Jesus right now. I want to count one to five and hurriedly I want you to leave your seat and come and stand in front of me here. Let it be from the depth of your heart and let it be sincerely so. You are saying i need the second birth i need to make it right with jesus i want to begin my journey towards the experience of knowing god through his spirit and living a victorious supernatural and excelling life nicodemus asked jesus the rich young ruler asked jesus you have been asking now he has come to answer i begin my counting now run to the front as i count one taraba is this how you celebrate salvation he who are weary come home softly and tenderly jesus is calling holy no singers come home come home Come Celebrate them as they come. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling for sinners. Come home. Come. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed of, my dear brother and my dear sister. Come. Come. Those who are following, watching from across the globe. You're watching from Europe, the United States, Africa, the Caribbean, Asia, the Middle East. Same Jesus. The same Lord is rich unto all. Come. Come. There is always room at the cross. Let's keep celebrating them for one minute as they come. Come. Hallelujah. Come. The hymn writer says, At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith 
I receive my sight and now I am happy all the way my dear friends brothers and sisters we stand here ministering to you as not people better than you for it is the election of grace that has kept us and brought us where we are it is a privilege and an honor to midwife your encounter to help you when a midwife is careless what is born is called Mephibosheth it was the carelessness of a midwife that destroyed the destiny of that man he has trained us to be effective midwives so that that process of the rebirth will be accurate and my Bible says in Romans chapter 10 from verse 9 and 10 that if thou shalt confess with your heart the Lord Jesus and believe you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead you shall be saved it says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the lips the mouth confession is made unto salvation speaking to Nicodemus he said for God so loved the world 3 and verse 16 that he gave his then one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life verse 17 says for God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he does not condemn you he is ever faithful to give you a beginning a new beginning if we say we have no sin the Bible says we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us but if we confess our sins that God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I salute you for making this noble decision. May I please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. And if you are not able to make it to the front here, wherever you are scattered, you can also lift your hand as I pray with them. You can pray right where you are. Please shout this loud and clear. Believe it. You are not just reciting a poem faith in your heart in the lord jesus is that which is translated to your salvation say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i desire this second birth i desire to be born again i desire to receive of your life right now i confess that jesus you are my savior you are my lord you are my king i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am saved i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen Keep your hands lifted father here at peniel 2023 under the leadership of the anglican communion we thank you for these souls that you have brought to jesus thank you for doing this in taraba thank you for doing this in our midst we thank you for every one soul that has been saved everyone that has come to jesus the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away lord jesus i declare based on the authority of scripture I declare their sins forgiven and I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave let it be broken over your life from tonight I empower you to live victorious Christian lives you go forward ever and backward never amen now here's what I want you to do there are a number of you so I'll plead that you move slowly so you don't ramp on one another there are counselors waving their hands I see them waving their hands and this is another one are they taking this road too okay all of them are going this way let's celebrate all of them as they move to my right which will be their left Taraba is this the best you can do for Jesus I've got a message from the Lord Hallelujah 
a message unto you I bring this recorded in his word hallelujah this only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave look to Jesus Christ and leave this recorded in his word hallelujah this only that you look and leave now the blessing for tonight may the Lord bless you May the mighty hand of the Lord rest upon you. Amen. Let the week of this conference be for you weeks of prophetic encounters. Amen. Encounters through dreams. Encounters in the place of prayer. Encounters. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.